they'll serve. Had a tough serving night last night. Still at 61 service aces on the year, the best on the Georgia Tech squad. Three more, she ties the single season record. And we're underway from Gainesville. Right side, Kennedy Martin. Could have predicted that as Kennedy Martin drills one home. And the Gators are on the scoreboard first. Best of five sets tonight. First one to win three. He's moving on to the round of 16 as Sophia Victoria, who late now here in her senior season has been serving for Florida. Right side attack and it's the roof for A.C. Fitzpatrick, who just was inserted into the lineup. The other outside hitter opposite of Sophia Victoria, up alongside of Nady Okamore, and that was a big roof for the ACC all-freshman member Larissa Mendez. 2-0 Florida, and the service error. Serve goes back to Georgia Tech, and the Yellow Jackets will send back one of their middle blockers, Liv Mogridge. Wasn't called on much offensively last evening, only five looks. She serves it here for the Yellow Jackets. Kanan, who's back in the lineup for Florida with the pass there. Outside, first look for Otene. Gators block it back to the right side. Mendez off the forearms of McKissick to Fitzpatrick. And her first look is long and wide. And we're tied early here at two. Yellow Jackets in winning last night have now won at least one match in the NCAA tournament in four straight seasons. Right side attack, Mendez. Gator blocker slowed it down. Kennedy Martin tried to take a swing to catch the defense napping for Georgia Tech, but to no avail, it's an attack error in Georgia Tech with the lead. Gators, five of five in their last 10 matches. Getting to the finish line with a tough SEC slate. Eight SEC schools in the NCAA tournament. AM and Auburn already out, losing in first round matches. AM at Texas yesterday. Auburn at Louisville to Western Michigan. Kentucky winner yesterday, Florida a winner. Here's a serve for Trinity Adams, who's checked in for the Gators, tied at three. Just a tip shot across by Otene. Right side, Kennedy Martin delivers the kill. Another look. The back set from Muff to Martin, Kennedy, Kennedy, Kennedy to Kennedy connection. What a story Kennedy Muff is. Division two Flagler. And here now, setting in a Division one NCAA tournament. Second round match. Gators will go to the middle and Gabby Essex delivers. Gabby Essex had a season high eight kills last night in the win over Florida Gulf Coast University. Hitting 538. Another look from another angle and players on the Florida bench erupt. Great chemistry with this Florida squad as Adams serves yet again for Florida. Otene on the outside. Gators block it back. Otene plays it up. Mendez off hands. And Adams can't quite get there. Larissa Mendez. Had 12 kills and hit 458 last night. The most kills by a Georgia Tech freshman in an NCAA de debut match. As she goes to the bench. Georgia Tech runs a 6-2, so here is fellow freshman Eloise Suarez, also named to the ACC All-Freshman team. Right side attack, tip shot for Martin. Great up by the libero. Pimentel, and that attack is long. So the attack error there for Mafedo Minyang. And that'll bring Kennedy Martin to the back row now to serve in this rotation. Gator high 31 aces on the year. Not a great pass out of system. Who will play it over? Free ball. Florida played by Adams. Muff with the block cover. A.C. Fitzpatrick, the emotional and 
enthusiastic leader of this Florida team. Hits it off the block attempt there of DeAndre Pierce in the middle for Georgia Tech. Three-point Florida lead. Shank pass, Otene. She'll take the swing now off the net, the roll shot. Adams got a hand on it, redirected by Muff. Pierce delivers the kill. The junior from Austin, Texas, the recipient of the quick middle set, probably her best look. Quick delivery, quick swing for Pierce, who had a career-high 11 kills last night in the win over South Alabama. It was a key part of their offense. Kennedy Martin from the back row. That's called the Bick, the quick middle set. Back row swing for Otene, dug up by Adams. Tip shot for Fitzpatrick. Right side laser beam there for a Fado Mignon. Georgia Tech to within one. A 4-5 seed matchup tonight. Expect a hotly contested match between the team from the ACC, Georgia Tech, as that one sails long, and the SEC, Florida. Defense has ruled so far as Florida only 154 in the efficiency category and Georgia Tech only 71. Libero McKissick serves it for Florida. Outside to Bertolini. Essex tried to push. Essex tries to tip it across, but it won't go. Georgia Tech within one. The quick set to Essex. He tries to push it. Just ball caroming around, and Essex couldn't redirect over. Back row attack, Martin blocks. She plays it up. Victoria, severe angle shot. Suarez goes outside. Bertolini with the kill. Bertolino had a tough night last night for Georgia Tech from serve and also only hit 115 against South Alabama. She's due for a better night tonight. Joust won by Muff there. Bertolino blocked. But it is pushed right across the net back and Georgia Tech surges into the lead. Redirected by Liv Modrich at the net. Server Pimentel. All the way out to Victoria on the outside, and she misses it long. Mary Wise with a calming influence up off the floor to bench. Maybe did a little much with that swing. Keep it in play and play defense. I'm guessing was probably the message. Not a great pass, Adams. Victoria on the outside. There's a lot of mustard on that hot dog. Sophia Victoria rears back when it looked like trouble for Florida. Muff had to make a long run to get to it at the left antenna. And Victoria just goes up and gets it. Georgia Tech's lead cut to one and back in and serving. Here's Emily Canan for Florida. Nady Okamore on the other side of the rotation. Now in the front row in the middle blocker spot for the Gators. Bertolino off hands. She's rip and ready to go. Again, after an off night last night, went 6-3, 26. Only 115 was not efficient and had issues from the serve line as well. Again, a two-point Georgia Tech lead at 11-9. And here is Bella D'Amico. The other setter in the two-setter offense that is run by Georgia Tech. Sophia Victoria unloads on another one from the left pin for Florida. And the Gators draw within one. Muff, perfect set. Maybe a step or two in from that left sideline and got the seam in the block. Muff serves for Florida. That one long but played by Otene. Mendez from the left side, dug up by Canaan. McKissick will have to play it off the forearms out to Victoria. 
And she hit the antenna. Again, a two-point lead for Georgia Tech. Bertolino from Argentina. The top spin serve. Right side, Martin. High off hands it goes. Somehow Georgia Tech got it back across. I think it was Modridge. This time a no-doubter from the right pin from Kennedy Martin. And her third kill on the evening. She has led the Gators 23 times in kills on this season. Emily Canan celebrates like no other either there in the foreground. And Florida has pulled to within one. Victoria, just long. Mogridge to serve here for Georgia Tech. Last night had one service error during her serve runs. Quick middle set to Okamore. Great up there by D'Amico. An attempt at the roll shot is short by Otene. Gators within one at 13-12, and here is that swap. Middle for DS, DS for middle. Essex in, Canan out. Okamore out and in serving is Trinity Adams on the other side of the rotation. Florida subs, middles for DS's around the horn. Right side, Mendez. Gators block it. Nice blocks cover by Pimento. And that one's in. Severe angle shot kill for Otene. Worth another look at this. Watch the severe angle. Thumb down, gets it off to her right. Two-point Georgia Tech lead. And back in is Suarez as D'Amico out. Again, a 6-2 offense for Georgia Tech. A.C. Fitzpatrick delivers a ball deep in the back left corner of Georgia Tech. Boom. Late trying to get over there for blocking assistance was Pierce. Pierce on the other side of the rotation from the other setter. Kennedy Martin serves. Otene powers it through Muff and Gabby Essex. Georgia Tech, the first team to 15 here in the opening set. The service error, and Florida draws back to within one. That'll bring to her turn in the serve for Ellie McKissick. Second in all-time Gator history in digs. Bertolino with the off-speed shot. Somehow Victoria got there. Back row attack, Martin tips it into front left. Pimentel got there. Gators block it, but it goes off of Victoria and Essex out of bounds. Martin with the tip and Pimentel from the back row sprints in to get it. And the right side kill off the block for Mignon. Pimentel serves the libero for Georgia Tech. Sophia Victoria tries a really severe cut shot. And Mary Wise up off the floor to bench. Will she take a timeout here? No, it looks like she'll keep the two in her back pocket for now. A three-point Georgia Tech lead. Tough one. Has to be played by McKissick in back right. An opportunity for Georgia Tech in transition. And they'll get a kill from Modridge. Tessel has to get kills from the three pin hitters. Martin, Fitzpatrick, and Victoria. They have seven kills collectively, but the hitting efficiency, especially for Victoria, has been down. Games will go to the middle and the slide play there. It's Gabby Essex with the kill. Guess Essex not quite all the way to the antenna, but found an opening in the block to get Florida back to within three. Canan checks in. Okamore checks in. Out to the outside to Bertolino. 
up from Canaan. Draws applause from the crowds. But Victoria is blocked. The roof by Afedo Mignon. Two blockers were there in position. Lowbridge was there as well. And a four point lead again for Georgia Tech. D'Amico, the 1A setter for Yellow Jacket, serves it in the net. Georgia Tech with some errors to help keep Florida within striking distance. Fourth service error there in the opening set for the Yellow Jackets. That one's long as Mendez at the left pin sails one out. Conference, but they and Texas a and already out with first round losses. After the Georgia Tech called timeout, here's the serve for Kennedy Muff of Florida. I can't see what Mark Prather called on the the ball there that popped back across the net, but Gators had a great block set up there against Bertolino on the Yellow Jackets right side, and Florida has pulled to within one. Can they pull even here? Overpass. Whoa, that skipped across the net. Victoria rolls shot. Otene will play it up. There's the foot speed of McKissick getting that ball in front left for Florida. And Kennedy Martin with the push. Got it over the libero who had crept in in Pimentel. Look to the right of your screen. Pimentel coming in, but it goes over her. Great placement by the freshman Kennedy Martin for Florida. Florida has drawn even. Gators on a 4 0 scoring run, right side. Bertolino will get some hands at the net. And Georgia Tech retakes the lead, 2019. Now here down the stretch, it's about execution. Avoiding mistakes. Whether it be attack errors or here while serving as Bertolino serves it. A bullet, overpass, look out below. Oh, but it's played up by Canaan. Martin with the push. Out to Otene. Gators block it back. Mendez stuff blocked by Gabby Essex. Excuse me, Okamore is back in. I beg your pardon. Sophia Victoria up alongside on her left shoulder. And that's what you'll get from Nady Okamore. A big smile, but tempered enthusiasm as it's 20 all. And Emerson Hoyle in a tough spot. Has to come in off the bench and serve. Tied at 20-20, it's an error. Mary Wise and the coaching staff looking to give Georgia Tech a different look, maybe something they had truly scouted for. Out to A.C. Fitzpatrick. Off hands, the kill for A.C. Fitzpatrick. That is a senior play for Fitzpatrick, who had her first two seasons at Penn State. It looked like trouble, but Ellie McKissick off the forearms gets it out to the left pin for AC to terminate. We're tied at 21. Trinity Adams in, Essex in for Florida. Adams with a one-handed save. Fitzpatrick will roll shot it across. Gators block it! It's Gabby Essex! Gabby Essex with the big stuff block. Fitzpatrick moving to her left with Essex. Wow. Essex seventh in the SEC at 1.25 blocks per set. A big one there with a one point Florida lead. To the right side to Mendez. Adams got a hand on it, but no one can get to it as it falls beyond the end line. We're tied at 22. Changes for Georgia Tech again. 
out goes Mendez. In comes Suarez. Also in is Minyang. Big point, and it's in the net. The service error, so Florida had one from Emerson Hoyle, and Georgia Tech with one here. And Florida with one point lead at 23-22. Georgia Tech with two more service errors than Florida, 5-3. A bullet serve. Pass made, Otene. She'll get the attack, and she'll get blocked by Gabby Essex. On her right shoulder was Kennedy Muff. But and she gets the serve at set point for Florida. Gators were down by four. Pulled even, it's been back and forth since. Everyone in Exact Tech Arena here in Gainesville on their feet. Multiple chances at set point for Florida here. For Georgia Tech, they've got to score two points consecutively. Florida with a chance to Fitzpatrick. High off hands it goes. Out to Otene. Dug up. Who will play it across? A free ball for Georgia Tech. Gators got a touch on the block and play it up and go to Fitzpatrick again. Up by Pimentel. The up from McKissick goes across the net. Tip shot played up by Fitzpatrick. Back row attack, Martin high up the air. It goes, and Kennedy Martin delivers her fifth kill of the opening set to give Florida the opening set. Florida will send Kennedy Muff to serve. Gators on the season. After winning the first set are 13 and three. Into Mogridge and Mogridge misses it wide. Going around the Gator block. Each team had 12 kills in that opening set, but Florida more efficient on its looks. And again, the three blocks differential. We have a check call forthcoming. There is a touch call. So, well played, Michelle Collier. She wins the challenge and will keep two in her back pocket. You lose it. The challenge, that is, you lose that from your wallet. So, 1 nothing Georgia Tech right off the bat, and another service error as serving not to her normal standard is. Bertolino. And we're tied at one. Florida up one set to none if you just joined us. 25-22. As AC Fitzpatrick serves for Florida here. And to the right side, it's Larissa Mendez, who had the most kills by a Georgia Tech freshman in an NCAA tournament debut last night. We touched on that in the first set. And on the evening to this point, Mendez with three. She also has three attack errors. There's a good look at Bear Tolino. International flavor. She is from San Guillermo, Santa Fe, Argentina. Outside set to Victoria. And Victoria takes something off with some top spin and keeps it in. We're tied at two. Muff pushes it a long way over to the outside, not all the way to the pin, a couple steps in, finding a sweet spot for Victoria to make the kill. Essex in, and a short serve in from Trinity Adams. Right side, Mendez, Gators stuff block. Sophia Victoria. As the Gator block party weekend continues. Another short serve from Adams. One-handed set. Pierce pushes it across. To earn just her second kill on the evening. She was successful last night. 
as you see Kennedy Martin trying to extend the left hand out to get to it. She was successful last night was Pierce, a career high 11 kills against South Alabama. So trying to get the ball to the middle. Mary Wise asking for a clarification on that last play from Tony Cothran. Not certain what that discussion might have been about, but we're tied at three here. Early moments in the second set. That one's just out. Just floated long. Line judge right on it over there in that corner. Had a good shot at it. As here is Kennedy Martin to serve it for Florida. The service ace leader on the year with 31 coming into action tonight. Adams next with 30. Trouble. Steered across by Otene of Georgia Tech. Essex with the tip. And Otene and Pierce on their way down. The tip caught him off guard. Way to disguise it as she had the arm behind her head and then just stopped motion, forward motion, and tipped it for the kill. Up from Kennedy Martin, hit the scoreboard. And since it went across the net, it's called out of bounds. If that would hit the scoreboard and stayed on Florida's side, the Gators could play it. That's the way the rule reads. As Martin just looks up at the scoreboard and chuckles. When you dig up a ball like that, you want to play on. Essex misses one just long, and we're tied at five. This is a Georgia Tech team that has been through the battles of the ACC with the likes of Florida State, Louisville, a national finalist last year, Pittsburgh in the Final Four last year. Muff with the set across the net. Ooh. Mignong with the kill. And Georgia Tech takes the lead. Mignon last evening had nine kills. Just one shy of a double digit number, hit 333, was effective in the Yellow Jackets offense. Back row Martin, tip shot, tipped it too short. So Georgia Tech extends the lead to two here. As Florida members of the serve receive team, Victoria. McKissick and Adams encourage each other, and Otene with the service error. That's eight against Georgia Tech. Florida within one. McKissick prepares to serve. Caught some net. That'll put a dent in the floor. DeAndre Pierce. Wow. That's a quick set and just went around Essex. Muff was out near the pin defensively for Florida there. Right side Essex, great up though from Suarez. Baird Tolino, the up from McKissick. Right side, Mignon. This one won't hit the scoreboard. It's in the back row. Otene the up. Bear Tolino off hands. Gator blockers are touching a lot of balls. AC Fitzpatrick blasts it through Mignon and Mogridge. That was just rare back and give it all you got. Wow. Senior Fitzpatrick, who has 15 double digit kill matches on the season. Last against South Carolina here on the 22nd, next to last match of the year. Out to the right side, but no one's there to play it. Just a free ball. Or should I say, attack it. And quickly to the slide in transition. Muff goes to Okamore at the right antenna.
Great look from behind as Okamore extends and angles it back across the court. There's a service ace. Emily Canan with a big service ace there. 20 now on the season for the sophomore from Allen, Texas. Bertolino winds up and hits it off hands for the kill. Tied at nine, Bertolino. Junior outside. First team, all ACC selection. Second team last year, and on the all freshman team the year before. Okamore down the line this time. What a great save, one handed by Pimentel. And Bear Tolino off the net gives Georgia Tech the lead again with her fifth kill. Taking that over her right shoulder from a set from the back row. Quite the shot there from Bertolino. Martin misses long. Two point lead for Georgia Tech. This set following almost a similar path from the last opening frame. Georgia Tech led at the media break at 15. They're up by two now. Tip shot. Georgia Tech keeps it alive. Uh-oh, she plays it too far. The up from McKissick, though, bailing out Canaan. And A.C. Fitzpatrick wails away. A.C. Fitzpatrick, great approach, and hits it off hands. Tooling the block. A.C. Fitzpatrick, instant energy for this Florida team. Now with five kills, tying Martin for team high. Mendez with the left hand, sleight of hand. Martin drills one, that's just way too much to handle for Bella D'Amico there, just beyond the 10 foot line and back right for the Yellow Jackets. Mogridge late getting there to close the block. If I'm Georgia Tech, I think I'm going to commit a lot to blocking the Florida freshman. Canaan with the up, and it shoots out of bounds. Talking about a lot of pace. That shot certainly had a lot of pace, pace on it. Here's Bertolino. Fitzpatrick plays the ball up over the scores table. Unbelievable roll shot from the left sideline, and it's good for A.C. Fitzpatrick. She's got all the shots. Pimentel started to reach and said, wow, that's going to be in. Fitzpatrick with a bullet. It's a service ace for A.C. Fitzpatrick. Her 13th ace on the season. Boy, I'd love to have a speed radar gun on that one. Florida takes the lead, 13-12. Fitzpatrick readies. Fasten your seatbelt, here it comes. Otene with the pass. Right side, Mendez, Gators block it back. Bertolino with the block cover. And there's a touch called to credit the kill to Mendez. We're tied at 13. I think Mary Wise is going to challenge this. She's got the card in hand, and she will Address that with Tony Cawthorn and take the challenge. Doesn't matter. The ball is out. So Florida 
Mary Wise wins the challenge. There was no touch. So it's an attack error instead of a kill. And Florida now 14 12 instead of 13 all. Can Florida get to the media timeout here? Whoa, it caught a little net. Mogridge delivers her most authoritative swing of the weekend. That was a no doubter. And she'll serve it here for the Yellow Jackets. Victoria makes her presence felt again. She's been trying to get back on the track because she was hitting the area. Gators trying to get there, only about two and a half hour drive from here in Gainesville. Long road ahead. Pierce, the net was friendly. Martin lost track of it on the Florida side of the net and Tech pulls within one. Checking back in is Suarez and Mignon. Mendez and D'Amico out. Two setter offense. Here's the second setter, the freshman for Georgia Tech. Mark Adams found it over her shoulder. Great up from Bertolino. Florida block slows it down for McKissick. Kennedy Martin. Her teammates and the coaches call her Kmart. That was a blue light special. Long approach, then the push. Tooling it off the hands. Now she'll serve it. Pierce missed it. Florida with a three-point lead. Gators with two service aces on the night. Fitzpatrick and Canan. Otene. As Essex tried to slip the left foot out there to play the ball up, but to no avail. Otene serves it now for Georgia Tech. First to look, though, at her last swing. Hits it off of Kennedy Muff. Victoria off speed, played up by Suarez. Bertolino down the line for the kill. For Bianca Bertolino. She has gotten on track tonight after a rough night last night in efficiency. She's got the Yellow Jackets within one. And a service ace for Otene. First of the evening for Georgia Tech. We're knotted up at 17. Long approach of the jump float. Essex. For so many years in this Mary Wise led program. That middle blocker streaking to the right antenna on the slide play, taking off on one foot, has been a staple. And Essex, when she first got here as a freshman, really didn't have that shot in her repertoire. It's been added as the years have gone on. Now a junior Gabby Essex, who had a career season high, I should say. Eight kills last night. Tough serve. Free ball sent across. Muff goes to the back row. Up from Otene. Another free ball opportunity for Florida. Where will Muff go? Again the back row, and it's long. And the challenge of Florida is denied. So no touch the ruling. Florida players. Here's 
Pimentel to serve it. Florida lost the challenge there, so they're down to one. Tough serve to handle. Fitzpatrick right into a double block with Mignon and Mogridge. Georgia Tech looking for his first true road win in an NCAA tournament here in Gainesville tonight. Now up by one in the second set. Muff, back set, tip shot, kill Gabby Essex. Essex continues to rack up kills on the weekend. That's four on the night here. And she will check out and give way to Emily Kanan as Nady Okamore will check in for Trinity Adams because that position has rotated to the front row. Kanan already with a service ace on the evening. Bertolini missed it long. Not by much. But Bertolini having a much better night tonight to this juncture than last night. Seven kills, two errors, 17 attacks. The leader for Georgia Tech in Bertolino. Otene averages more kills per set on the year. That two-headed monster is tough. Out to Bertolino. Tip shot. McKissick got there, but Florida can't get it up after that. We're tied at 20. Substitutions for Tech as tomorrow. Excuse me, Bella D'Amico checks back in. She'll serve it here. The other setter for Georgia Tech. And Larissa Mendez checks back in. Watch her on the right side. Muff goes to the slide. Tip shot. Bertolino. Fitzpatrick, off speed shot. And D'Amico trying to roll out of the way of a diving. Larissa Mendez, just, just too tough. The tip shot in the front right, and you see, trying to get out of the way, rolling was Bella D'Amico. Florida with one point lead and serve now with Kennedy Muff. Tough serve. It's an ace for Kennedy Muff as she pumps the right fist to give Florida a two point lead and force a Georgia Tech timeout. Stellar career at Flagler College over on the coast. Grew up in Wisconsin, going to Wisconsin Badger volleyball camps and playing volleyball now at a high level in the Division I tournament. She'll dig it there, Will Muff. Out to the outside, Fitzpatrick is stuffed. Liv Mogridge with the stuff. Florida's lead trimmed to one. She took away the angle, did the middle blocker Mogridge. Big spot and serve received for Florida. Bertolino, the best server, serves it in the net. Her serving woes continue here in Gainesville. One of the best servers in the country. 61 aces coming in. And a good ace to error ratio. Now again, fasten your seat belt. Can Florida get to set point? With AC Fitzpatrick serving. Mendez on the right side. Pulls Georgia Tech back to within one. And here's Mogridge serving. Fitzpatrick was in back middle, but a well-placed shot by Mendez. And a change for Georgia Tech. Liz Patterson will check in and serve now. For Michelle Collier. We saw her serving in spot duty last night. Shank pass as Victoria can't handle it. Backing up, brushed up against Canaan. And Mary Wise wants and gets a Florida timeout as Patterson.
Gators, 33rd straight appearance in the tourney. Third longest street streak in the nation behind Penn State, 43, Nebraska, 42. Tied at 23, big point here. Fans trying to urge on Florida. Canan with the pass, right side Martin, it goes high off hands, Georgia Tech with a chance. Right side Mendez, Gator block touches. Martin just steers it across, a free ball opportunity. Where will Tech go? Mendez again, and she'll kill it. Larissa Mendez. Georgia Tech with a one point lead and Mary Wise will take another timeout. Even more critical now for Florida to get something undimensional and have to just throw it to the outside where Mendez and middle Pierce can set up to try to block Victoria. I'm thinking Florida will probably look to Martin on the right side, let's see. Set point, Yellow Jackets. Great pass. Victoria is played up by D'Amico. Gators block it. It goes up at the net and smacked down by Nady Okamore. We're tied at 24. Nady o Okamore kept her head in the play. Gators touch the block. And the dig goes across the net off the block. And Okamore makes it a no doubter with two hands with the stuff. Tied at 24. Got to win by two as we go past 25 here. Tough play for Otene. Florida with a chance. Martin, tip shot. Pancake save for Mendez. A save from, no, it's not a save from Florida, it's down. Boy, was that pancake good or what? Let's take a look. Ooh. What a save by Mendez. She used all of her frame to get there. At six foot two to extend that arm. Set point again for Georgia Tech. Muff goes middle. Essex delivers the blast. We're tied at 25. Now Michelle Collier with instructions for her team. Where will Tech go? Maybe a quick middle set to Pierce, we'll see. Yes, Gators keep it alive. Victoria, roll shot. It's just long, oh my goodness, it wasn't long by much. And another set point opportunity for Georgia Tech. How many lives do the Gators have here by giving the Yellow Jackets set points? Muff outside, Victoria high off hands, and we're tied at 26. This team has shown so much grit and determination throughout the second half of the season. Down three starters, never say die attitude. Exhibit again here as we play past 25 in the second frame. Can Florida get to a set point of its own? Great serve by McKissick. Bertolino, it's dug up by Martin. Where will Muff go? To the outside. Tip shot, Fitzpatrick. Mignon gets it down for the kill. Georgia Tech gets again to set point as Mignon. Essex closed it with Fitzpatrick, but Mignon found an avenue to give another set point opportunity to Georgia Tech. Serving it is Pimentel, the libero for the Yellow Jackets. Adams makes the pass. And down for the kill is Kennedy Martin with number eight on the night. What a gutsy call to go to a back row attack. Only one blocker up and she went around Mogridge there. Again, you ask the question if you're here in orange and blue watching this team on your home court. Can the Gators get to a set point? It's been all Georgia Tech playing set points. 
Bertolini got it in. 10 on the night for Bertolini. And D'Amico to serve. Back on the court, Mendez. Mignon goes to the bench along with Suarez. Georgia Tech 28, Florida 27. Martin with the tip. It's down for the kill. Florida living dangerously. Can they earn their own set point? They've been dodging bullets. And it's Kennedy Muff serving. One of the biggest stories in collegiate volleyball this year, D2 player. It's up, but it's down. Georgia Tech gets the 29. Our team in the graphics department probably getting tired of keep pressing that button for Georgia Tech set point. The Yellow Jackets fighting for every point here. Uh-oh, shank pass. Gators will get it across. No. A.C. Fitzpatrick pushes it into the net. And the Gators could not earn a set. As the O-Dome, as it's called here, was under construction. That went over what they called the Lem Dome. The practice facility turned into a competition court. Tied at one, here we go. Best two out of three, basically, to move on. Overpass, Florida keeps it alive, and then stumbles and pushes the ball out of bounds. Bertolino readies the serve. Shank pass, service ace. There's number 62. Two more, she ties the Georgia Tech single season mark. And on the evening, that is three service aces for the Yellow Jackets. The push for Okamore. Otene pushes it off of hands. Much to the delight of the staff on the Georgia Tech bench. Otene's had a tough night offensively. Her fourth kill only hitting 105. But you've got to have hitters amnesia now. You're tied at one set of piece, just move forward. Muff goes right side. Martin off hands. Right side Mendez. She'll kill it. Four, nothing. Georgia Tech riding a crest of momentum and emotion. After finally closing the door on Florida in the second. Here's Bertolino. Right side attack. Martin. Off hands, Pimentel with the dig. Mendez with the kill. When is Mary Wise going to burn a timeout? Down 5 nothing. She gives instruction to Sophia Victoria on the Gator bench. Always coaching, always teaching. Even in the 33rd season. Uh-oh, overpass, look out below. Mogridge, 6 nothing, Florida. Mary Wise can't wait any longer. She'll take an early timeout here. As after tension here of the 2023 NCAA Volleyball Tournament on ESPN Plus. Tom Collette with you from Gainesville. As after the timeout, the Gators get a kill from A.C. Fitzpatrick. This is where Florida will have to score points to make up ground, though. Florida. So many, if you will, deuce scores past 25 could not get to an advantage. And finally, Georgia Tech took it 30-28 in that second set. Can Florida score points while serving? Dig goes across the net and a kill from Ogridge. Just a flick of the wrist, and then it comes back to her. Martin. Tried to make a play in Florida's front right, but to no avail. 
Bogridge serves it. Six kills and eight swings without an error. That's highly efficient. Oh my goodness. Back row block called on Kennedy Muff as she went up to challenge Pierce, but she's in the back row. Well, actually, she just wanted to try to go up and make the set and smartly Pierce hit it off of her. She can't contact that ball in the plane of the net, above the net, in the back row. Right side, Mendez. Outside, Otene. It's in. All Georgia Tech as they are on fire. 7-0-9. Seven kills and nine swings here to open up the third. That's 778. That's a torrid pace as Mogridge serves it again. They are in a groove now offensively. There's one way to knock yourself out of a groove with a service error. Tenth of the night for Georgia Tech. Adams in for Florida along with Essex. Short ball. Somehow Tech played it across. Gabby Essex gets the kill. So that's a start. Florida's got to score points while serving to catch up. Can't just afford to trade side outs. She was facing going towards that right sideline. Came across her body and flicked the wrist back to the left. Get a good look at Trinity Adams, the junior. Radford, Virginia, her home. Out to the outside, Otene for Georgia Tech. And the angle shot is down. McKissick farther off to the left and where that shot went, defending the angle shot. See how Florida blockers set it up. They try to funnel it to McKissick. She cut that very close to the Florida block. McKissick was in the right spot. Checking and serving Suarez for Georgia Tech. Quick middle set. That was Essex's bread and butter early in her career. Now she's been effective on the slide as well as her career has progressed. For Essex, her eighth kill tying the season high, she said last night. Florida's going to need offense from the middle. Oh, today is stuff blocked as Essex shakes the right hand at her teammates to celebrate it. Boom. Muff said it. Essex closed it. Essex got it. Mignon answers back for Georgia Tech at the right pin. Otene serves and serves it long. 11 service errors on the evening. As Georgia Tech has been more efficient offensively as the night has progressed. Side outing at 62%, Florida just said 57.8. The points off serve, they're 42, Florida 38% roughly, 37.9 to be exact. Whoa. Vicious attack swing there as Pierce a big smile from her teammates on the bench as she is out of the match. And serving, here is Pimentel. Martin with a tip, pushing it across. Mignong is blocked by Essex at Fitzpatrick. This is where Florida has to improve to catch up here in this set. Serve and score while serving. It's Canaan 
Who's checked back in and serves here. Artie with an ace on the night. Mogridge, great block cover from Bertolino. Up from Kennedy Martin. Fitzpatrick delivers from the left antenna. Give her nine on the night. Tying Martin for team high. Florida within four and a big smile. Mogridge six and hitting 667. Mignon with six. So a very balanced attack as the two setters, Suarez and D'Amico, have distributed the ball well, keeping the Florida defense guessing. This is Bertolino, the up from Canaan. Pushed across by Fitzpatrick. Mignon, that one's well long. And I saw Otene look over here at the up official, Mark Prather. And what do we have? Looks like a yellow card. I think it was issued to Otene. She was looking and saying, hey, there's a double there. I think referring to Fitzpatrick pushing it across with two hands. Let's see who that's charged to. Michelle Collier. Now I think making that point with Tony Cothran, the down official. The two-handed push, a big part of the men's game, especially on the international level. I st still think they're shaking their heads at when Fitzpatrick pushed it across with two, wanting a double called. Florida with a three. Tip shot, Bertolino, and Muff tries to play it across the net on the way down. Probably not the play there. Keep it in play and let McKissick make a second contact to one of your hitters. As I know the message from the Florida bench. A four point lead for Tech and serve, where it's D'Amico in to set and serve here. Suarez out. Mendez back on the court. And what do we have? A replay. The up official stopping play, Mark Prather. Pounding the ball, preparing is D'Amico, senior out of Westerville, Ohio. Muff goes right side. Okamore played up. Fitzpatrick takes the ball on the plane of the net and puts it right in D'Amico's lap. Great up, but in the right spot at the right time is A.C. Fitzpatrick. Played her first two years at Penn State. Came back home to Florida, her hometown, only 45 minutes down the interstate in Ocala. Mendez winds up, goes down the line and rips it in. Georgia Tech trying to maintain a multiple point lead, now back out to four. As Bertolino, first ace of the weekend earlier, The push for Okamore. Florida to within three. Mary Wise had to burn an early timeout for Florida. As now checking your charts in this rotation, we'll have AC Fitzpatrick serving. Florida choosing to use as Fitzpatrick readies her in this serving situation. Well, that one was a bad toss, too high. Georgia Tech again stretches the lead to four with the service error for Florida. Just the fourth of the night. As you see behind AC Fitzpatrick, the true freshman, very physical player who played early on for Florida, not much, in Kira Hudson. As one of the stars of that second set, a late sub, Liz Patterson checks in. Critical ace down the stretch. Kennedy Martin delivers the shot. Tenth kill of the night for Kennedy Martin. Off the sideline, she goes around the blockers. They didn't go all the way to the antenna anticipating the set inside, but 
a little further inside than they thought. Short serve. Right side, Mendez. Out to Victoria. What an up from McKissick from the blast from Otene. McKissick will have to steer it across the free ball. Right side, Mendez. Misses one wide, trying to go around the floor to block. Essex and Victoria were there. And we have a wet spot down at the end line of the Georgia Tech side of the court being intended to. Side attack kill for Larissa Mendez. She continues being a terminator on the weekend here in Gainesville for Georgia Tech. Give her nine after 12 last night. And a little playful activity on the bench as checking into Suarez to serve and set. Push shot, Martin, played up by Pimentel. Off the forearms of McKissick, out to Victoria. A diving up from Adams. Victoria, roll shot blocked. Sent across by Victoria with the left. Neither team wants to have this rally end. Otene with the blast from the left pin. Down the line with authority. Wow, that was something worth another look. The long rally. Martin can't get the roll shot down. And watch this. Hello. Four point lead and serve for Georgia Tech. Victoria has to play the second ball. So a free ball opportunity here for the Yellow Jackets. Mignon. She'll kill it. It's up to a five-point lead. And our down official, Tony Cothran, asking the Georgia Tech players to back up. For years, I've always said in calling matches, why even set up a bench? None of the players sit down. Essex delivers. And that's a mismatch, I think, Florida, when you have Essex against Deandra Pierce, the more physical of the attackers for Florida. You take her on. And Essex goes around Pierce for the kill there. Kennedy Martin. Now to Otene. Off the Gator block, off of Muffin Essex. And Georgia Tech is at 20. I beg your pardon, 19. Five point lead after the kill for Tamara Otene, where she serves now. Victoria, the dig goes back across the net of Pimentel. Mignon. It goes out of bounds, the kill for Mignon. Now Georgia Tech is at 20. Gators trying to crank up the offense, but it's been a tough go. Trying to match Georgia Tech. In this set, Georgia Tech at 419. Florida, no slouch at 348. Just not as many looks. Kennedy Martin gets number 11. Caroline Canope, now an assistant coach for Florida, up off the Gator bench, trying to fire up this team. Part of that great run in 2017 when the Gators made it all the way to the championship match. Overpass. 
Georgia Tech keeps it alive. And Essex hits it in the net. The set was a little bit too low. That's got to be deflating. You think you've got it down in Georgia Tech. Hustle play. Gets a free ball back across the net. Forcing a Florida attack error. Down a half dozen. One point at a time. Florida's got to get something out of the side out offense. Well, they don't have to. A dozen service errors on the night for Georgia Tech. Cracking open the door for Florida. Have to score some points as Mary Wise up off the bench with hands on knees. And Canaan checks in along with Okamore. Right side, Mignon. Mignon buries it. Georgia Tech with a lead of again of a half dozen. And their changes in their 6-2 offense as Mendez checks back in along with senior setter Bella D'Amico. D'Amico serves. Florida will run it to the slide. Up from Otene. Mendez. Stuff blocked by Okamore. Okamore's fourth block of the match. Kennedy Muff again. Last year playing in D2 at Flagler College here in the second round of the NCAA tournament. Setting the Florida Gators. Off hands, it's played up by Pimentel. Bertolino, the up from Canaan. D'Amico gets to it. Florida goes middle. The block slows it down. That was Mogridge who got a touch. Back set right side. And on the right side, Bertolino. 13 on the night. And this is a point where if you're Florida, you're kind of looking towards the next set. It's got to be a run here and now. Right side kill for Kennedy Martin. This is where Florida's got to make some damage. Only 35% scoring on serve. As you see the tool of the hands by Kennedy Martin off of the left arm of Otene. Blocking for Georgia Tech. Fitzpatrick, can she get a series of serves together? Otene. Where will Georgia Tech go? Right side, Mendez. The attack at the antenna, that's out of bounds. One point at a time, the message to the Florida players on the court. Within four. Michelle Collier has one, line, one more timeout at her disposal. Bullet serve, overpass, kill Kennedy Martin. And I thought it might come. Injuries. Leading Wisconsin number one in the country on the court here when Stuckey went down. Gators with a chance and transition to the right side. Kennedy Martin gets the Gators one point closer. Momentum definitely back on Florida's side as another look. Martin against one. The middle not getting there in time to close the block. Another bullet serve. Back rope, Bertolino. And a diving effort made by Muff, but not quite in time. Set point, Georgia Tech. As where Muff went sliding to try to get that ball being attended to with the perspiration. 
Bertolino now with 14 kills, matching Martin for match high. And the serving star late in the second set is Liz Patterson. She's back in for Georgia Tech. Look out. Oh, she got a play on it. Free ball opportunity for Yellow Jackets. And put away by Otene. Georgia Tech on the squad. She and outside here, Otene, the two major factors. And the Gators get on the scoreboard first here in the fourth. A must win situation for Florida. Down 1 2. And Kennedy Muff will serve it. For two grad students and four seniors, they want to play the last match on their home court with a win and move on. There, Tolino, the Gators block, touches it. Martin with the tip shot and well disguised. 15 kills for Martin now on the evening. And if you're Mary Wise and the Florida coaching staff, this is a start you wanted to see. Gators pick, get back up off the deck and take an early quick lead. Otene, though, from the back row displays that she's still got some left in that tank. Otene with 11 kills. She and Bertolino both in double figures. Mendez and Monyang, Monyang, excuse me, next at nine. Well distributed offense for Georgia Tech tonight. AC Fitzpatrick reminds everyone she's still in the match with her 11th kill. 16 double digit kill matches on the season for the senior from Ocala. Now it's time to unleash the jump top spin serve of AC Fitzpatrick who tried to serve the Gators back in it last set. Great save by Pimentel. Otene misses on the outside. Michelle Collier, I think, is going to challenge. Well, maybe not. She was calling for a touch, asking her players, and I guess she won't. Such a weapon when AC Fitzpatrick can get that big, heavy top spin jump serve in. Anticipation is. Here's the Fitzpatrick serve. Mendez blocked! Sophia Victoria and Nady Okamore. And Florida returning the favor. They were down 6 nothing. Last set, Gators now up 5-1 to start the fourth set. Fitzpatrick continue this hot streak of serving. Otene blocked by Okamore. Martin was up on the long side on her right shoulder. Georgia Tech wants an early timeout. Florida had to take one last set. Turnabout fair play. As Fitzpatrick Hits that one in the net. One other thing that a timeout can do is break the rhythm of a jump server who's really on a roll. Coming out of the timeout. Six two Florida. Shank pass ace from Ogridge. Florida has seven comeback wins on the season. Last time they were down 1-2 was against Georgia on September 24th. As Nady Okamore delivers the quick middle attack. 
The last comeback win for Florida back on October 20th. Trinity Adams will serve it here for Florida. Back on the floor for Florida is Gabby Essex. And the ace! Trinity Adams gets ace number 31. I think she's happy about it, don't you? With that ace, she ties Kennedy Martin for team high. The dig one across the net, and there to bring it back for the kill was Mendez. Mignon out on the court along with Suarez. Out are D'Amico and Mendez for Georgia Tech. The setters for Georgia Tech have really distributed the ball well, each with 21 assists on the night. This is the freshman Suarez member of the ACC All-Freshman team with a bright future at Georgia Tech. She'll set it here to the outside. Otene. Georgia Tech's in the net. Wouldn't have mattered though, because wind up and kill it, Sophia Victoria. Victoria's the pin hitter the Gators need to get going tonight. Martin and Fitzpatrick are on. Ooh, that was a low toss and a serve in the net. Just the sixth service error on the night for Florida. Double that for Georgia Tech. Oh, that caught net. Essex with the kill. Continues to add to her season high total. Now 10 the junior from Hoover, Alabama. Down the line and Pimentel could not play that one. Serve McKissick. Mignon off the net. Fitzpatrick is blocked. The roof on the right side for Mignon. And Pierce. Great net penetration. Humantel serves here now for Georgia Tech to Libero. win situation for the home team here, Florida, hosting the second round match. And another service error for Georgia Tech in 13 now in the evening. Florida upping its scoring on serve now to 40%. It was in the mid-30s through the third set. It's a good sign if you're cheering for the orange and blue. And a service ace for Emily Canan, second of the night. She likes to celebrate as well. She's had some big aces in big situations in a fifth set that the Gators eventually dropped, though, had four in a row against Stanford last year here in the pre-conference schedule. Follows that with an attempt at a short serve, and the, it's too short. Georgia Tech with its customary changes as the setter D'Amico checks back in along with right side attacker Mendez. Out go Mignon and Suarez. D'Amico serve. And a net violation on Florida. I believe it was called. 
I don't know who it was called on. Let's see if I can get it from the. Kennedy Muff. Katie Okamore makes her presence known again. Fifth kill in 14 swings without an error. The heavy load has been lifted, though, by the Florida Pins as usual, which is the case most often. Martin, Fitzpatrick, and Victoria. Mogridge with the left hand had to adjust. AC Fitzpatrick finds one down the line. Crafty play. Muff serves for the Gators. Mendez, touch called at the net. She found the hands of the Florida blockers. Florida maintains though a five point lead in this must win situation trying to force a fifth. Right side attack Martin. Played up by Mendez. Fitzpatrick loads up and tools the block. Gets it off of Mowridge. Almost knocked McKissick over, did that attack. And then Fitzpatrick, the crafty play by the senior. She was the Florida Gatorade Volleyball Player of the Year in 2020 after her senior season at Trinity Catholic High School. And she serves here now. Wow! Oh, and she kicks it up into the stands. Pimentel tries her best, but it's another service ace for the Gators. And for A.C. Fitzpatrick, her second on the night. This really had a lot of rotation and velocity. And you can read her lips. Come on! Here comes another one. The bullet. That one handled. The up from AC. Right side Mendez, and she'll kill it. No! I think Georgia Tech will challenge for a touch. Might have been Fitzpatrick on the way down as Bertolini will have a conversation with the up official Mark Prather. The challenge has been made. It is that there was a touch. The signal of one coming from the up official Mark Prather directed back towards us to let us know that's what the challenge is for. Quite a Friday night here in Gainesville as Florida trying to come back from trailing 1 2. So, no touch. Ball is confirmed, no touch. Bertolini again with a conversation with Tony, excuse me, with Mark Prather, the up official here. Fans uh, displeased with the continued delay and res the resumption of, resumption of action here. Here's AC Fitzpatrick. Mogridge with the kill. 7 0 13. That's quite the stat line for the middle blocker. She will check out and give way to Liz Patterson. Patterson, her ace was one of the catalysts in that second set for Georgia Tech. Right side, Martin. Kennedy Martin.
Trinity Adams surveys and serves. Tough play for the setter, D'Amico. Free ball opportunity for Florida. Big block for Georgia Tech. Still a big mountain to climb for the Yellow Jackets. We want to try to climb that mountain, but maybe with a, a little vision on a fifth set. Potentially ahead of you. Here's Suarez serving. Free ball chance for Georgia Tech. Otene from the left pin gets kill 12. Each team with three players with double digit kills. Bertolino, Otene, and Mendez for Georgia Tech. Another look at Otene with the double block there. Martin and Essex were there for Florida, but Otene up to the task. For Florida, three and doubles. Martin Fitzpatrick, Essex. Right side, Martin. What an up from Bertolino. Otene blocked. Essex takes a swing and kills it for number 11. One off her career high. She's had 12 twice. The last time last season in the month of November as Essex finds another play in the net and lets it go. Last November 26th, 12 kills again at Old Miss. Otene with the smash. Florida has kept a lead, a cushion here in this set. Raced out to a 6-1 lead. Trying to force a fifth. Trying to get another 20-win season for the program for 33 years in a row. Bertolino was there that time to stuff the slide play to Essex, denying her a 12th kill. The lead is five. Otene serves. Victoria off the block, it's the kill. Florida to 20. Ellie McKissick, one of four seniors and two grad students, playing their last match here on the court at home. Hopeful to move on. What an up from Martin. Fitzpatrick buries another one. 14 for AC. And a timeout called for by Michelle Collier, head coach. To the timeout. Georgia Tech now out of timeouts. Florida has two still in play as Ellie McKissick serves. The Florida Libero. Mignon. Angle shot from the right side for Mignon. Give her 10 kills. Four in double digits for Georgia Tech. 24th assist for Eloise Suarez. Who sets for Mignon is on the court. Pimentel serves for Georgia Tech. Fitzpatrick, another kill for AC. 
15. Earlier this season, she set her career high with 22 in a five-set barn burner in the small gym in Tallahassee called Tully. Here's the serve for Kanan now and a shank. Minyang saved it. Otene with the up. Bertolini off the net. Again. Wow. Look out, the Gator players scatter, but AC can't get there. Martin running that way as well. So they have a group huddle. Why not? Gator lead is six. Georgia Tech sends in Anna Bosi. She'll serve here a different look. Also on the court. Excuse me, that's not Bosi serving. That is Sandin. Bosi's on the court, though. And that's in. Eddie Okamore. 6-0-15. That's quite the stat line. And to please the coaching staff, seven blocks on the evening to lead everyone. Kennedy Muff, can she get the Gators to set point? Here, Tolini. Coaching staff wants a double on Muff there. Bear Tolini gets the kill. A stern look at the officials from Michelle Collier, and a yellow card issued as the complaint lodged in a manner not becoming, I guess. Bertolini upset with that non-call, maybe a double contact on Muff. Here's Bertolini, jump serve on the way. Set point, Florida. Florida on the season, in case you were wondering, five and four in five set matches, including a stretch of. Get to that point in a minute as Georgia Tech avoids one set point. Fans trying to urge Florida on here. Serve for Liz Patterson. She missed it long. There is a touch called at the net. Sophia Victoria. Bertolini uh, saying, I see that. There was no touch. Trying to plead her case with the up official, Mark Prather. First road win in NCAA tournament play. In the NCAA tournament, Georgia Tech has played once before, and that was a loss to Louisville in 2001. Their only five set match in the tournament. This being their 13th NCAA appearance and a good start for Florida. Let's see if there's more magic in this right arm of AC Fitzpatrick. It was heated up as the night has gone on. Overpass and an over the net violation called. Oh boy, no, I don't know about that. I'd like to see a replay on that if we have it. Discussion with the up official, Mark Prather. Tied at one. Mary Wise doesn't like to call. It'll stand, of course. Not challengeable. Tied at one. She just shakes her head. Bertolino with the serve. Right side Martin. Down for the kill. 
Kennedy Martin with 18. Trinity Adams checks in. Adams with the service ace on the night. Canan with two. Fitzpatrick with two. Otene had to push it across with the left. Sophia Victoria blasts away. Off the forearms of McKissick, no problems. Off the net for Sophia Victoria. Otene answers. And Georgia Tech back to within one. First team to eight, the teams will switch sides. A little ways to go before that, but that was good for Otene. Only one blocker, you saw that for Florida in Kennedy Martin. Set to the right side. Florida goes right side to Martin, tip shot. Otene dug up by McKissick. Give her 15 on the match now. Free ball opportunity for Florida. Gabby Essex has it. Tying her career high with her 12th kill. One on one, she goes around Pierce. Florida with a two point lead and serve. I don't think and so. it's freshman Kennedy Martin. Tied for the Gator service ace lead as Adams tied her tonight. All the way out to Otene, off hands to kill. Georgia Tech within one. Florida clinging to a one-point lead on its home court, not wanting its season to end. Georgia Tech trying to get its first true NCAA tournament road win and not wanting its season to end. Out to Victoria, off hands, played up by Bertolini. Mendez. Back row attack, kill Kennedy Martin. 5-3 Florida. Perfect delivery from Muff. Kennedy Martin so level-headed, so business-like. Ready for whatever is thrown at her. Can Florida add to a lead here? Off the net, Otene. Back to Otene. Off hands, dug up by Martin. Ochene again, got it in. Didn't want to run an offense, just take a swing at that ball when it was in the plane of the net. Ball brought back up. Let me just do matters, take matters into my own hands. Florida's lead trimmed to one, Ochene serves. Muff with the jump! Kennedy Muff on second contact! Her first kill of the night, fifth attempt. Disguised it well, and Pierce was standing there on the floor. Two point floor to lead, can Canaan add to it? Out to Fitzpatrick, tip shot. For Tolini, off hands. Gator blockers slow it down. Martin with the tip. Otene is blocked. Tried that 
back row attack from the right side, but Florida blockers were in position. Fitzpatrick and Okamore were there. Florida trying to get this second round win as Bertolini sails one long, and the Gators are the first team to eight after the timeout and attack error for Georgia Tech. Gators get to go back to their bench where they start matches. And uh, now we will exchange benches formally. Florida during the Mary Wise tenure here in Gainesville in NCAA second round matches here at home, 25 and two. And I'm wondering what we have here as now the players are directed to their benches. Gators eager to be back on the court to keep riding this wave of emotion. Martin back out of the floor with, and now they're changing benches back. What do we have here? A challenge for Georgia Tech of a touch. Georgia Tech is challenging the previous well, That's something I've not seen before. Teams exchange benches. Georgia Tech then issues a challenge. Look, if you will, here in the fifth set. The decision is in. Stays with Florida. Now the teams will exchange benches. And Florida with the upper hand with a four point lead and serve. Georgia Tech trying to fight back. It'll be Canaan serving for Florida after both teams are ready to resume. Again, Florida, nine five set matches on the year, a record of five and four. Georgia Tech, four and one in five set matches. Their last five set marathon was a win at Boston College back on the 27th of October as they made their way through the ACC. And that's out. Tough spot for a service there. Florida's lead trim to three. Florida 25 and two here in Exact Tech Arena or the one match at the Lemerand under Mary Wise in Gainesville during her tenure with the Gators. Fitzpatrick, tip shot, tip back. Back row attack, Martin with the tip. Suarez sets the pipe, and it's in for the kill. That is Otene. Georgia Tech within two. Gators two blockers there. She went up and over Fitzpatrick. Okamore played up by Otene. Oh, and a misplay, unfortunately, for Ellie McKissick. Not a lot on that one, but the kill for Bertolino. And Georgia Tech, Florida fans trying to urge on the Gators. Slide play, Okamore. Fitzpatrick off the net. And there's a touch. Kill for AC Fitzpatrick. Ending the three nothing scoring run. And uh, another challenge. Challenging the touch. Into town. Back in September. Bertolini, Gators block it, the up. 
Otene pops the ball on the net. 10-7 Florida. Gators looking to earn a 20th win on the season and move into the round of 16. Tip shot down for the kill for Otene. 18th kill. Two point set. Suarez checks in. Mignong checks in. On the right side for Tech. Florida just with two in serve receive here. And the service error from the freshman, Suarez. Gets the Gators a point closer. Toss maybe a little low. And again, fasten your seatbelt. 15th service error of the night for Georgia Tech. Here comes A.C. Fitzpatrick. Bertolini was blocked. That one's out. The block went out. Gators were there, but couldn't turn the ball in. Big spot here for Bertolini. Has an ace on the night. 17, make it 18. Kill 17 digs. Kennedy Martin missed it. Gators looking for a touch. I think we'll have a challenge from Mary Wise. We will. You can cut the tension with a knife. It's the public address announcer, Jeff Cardozo, no. And now we'll go to the scorekeeper, Elise Wern. Cothran's decision is in. And it stays with Georgia Tech. So Mary Wise loses that challenge. That's a big call. If it's overturned, it's 12-9 and a three-point Florida lead. It's a one-point Florida lead at 11-10. Bertolini serves. Right side, Mark. No doubt about that. No challenge there. Wow. 19th kill. Make it 20 for Kennedy Martin. Unbelievable. Florida 12, Georgia Tech 10. Adam serves the error. Oh, a tough spot for the error for Florida. You get a big momentum swing. And then the service error short. Florida's lead trimmed to one. Serve for Liz Patterson. Right side, Martin. 21. As she adds to her sixth 20-plus kill match on the year. Head on, two blockers, bury it. Florida back up by two. Not a great pass from Bertolini. Otene. Got it in. Florida's lead trimmed to one. What a super NCAA second round match we're witnessing tonight. Neither team wants to give an inch. Serving is Lawrence Sandin. Martin misses. We're tied at 13. Mary Wise wants a timeout as she pumps the fifth and waiting. As after the timeout, Lauren Sandin serves. Big point here. Who will get to match point? Go to Essex. And she's blocked. They went to Essex to try to get her her 13th kill. And Georgia Tech 
has a chance. One on one, it's Otene. Bertolini gives her a bear hug. Fans trying to make some noise to rattle the Georgia Tech server, Sandin. Victoria, the stick save is going to go out of bounds. We're tied at 14. Fourteen, fourteen. Got to win by two. We're going to go past fifteen here. Ellie McKissick. Ellie McKissick with the serve. Tough ball to play. Ouch. Otene. Another match point opportunity for Georgia Tech. Tough play for Suarez. Her back to the net, had to maintain body control not to go into the net. And Otene, after getting her 20th kill, will serve for the match. Caught some net. Essex is on the ground. Fitzpatrick, they keep it alive. Georgia Tech with a chance here. And Bertolino. Bianca Bertolino gets the kill to end it. Number 19 on the evening.